Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Talking out loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Now, I watched Carlos and Dr. Elaine speak about the incident that happened with Stormy and Black Titanic. And I'm like, why in the world is Carlos sitting up there lying, not tell or admitting the truth, not telling the whole story. I get the fact that Black Titanic went up to Stormy's warehouse, but the fact that people keep on saying that she shouldn't have been there and that Black Titanic was, he's trying to paint Black Titanic to be a stalker or a harasser. I feel as though he's filed for that. Because if Stormy was threatened, if she felt that Black Titanic and her friend was a threat, then why wouldn't she just lock her doors, call the police, and let them handle it, let them do their job? But instead, she felt threatened enough to run out to the threat. She opened her door and went outside and attacked the threat head on, but then want to turn around and play victim. I don't feel as though that Black Titanic did anything wrong. To me, she is a type of person that just likes to get um, get her content from different locations. Get And she likes to uh, speak her content on site. And there's nothing wrong with that. Newscasters do that all the time. They will film or uh, cite their uh, content from different locations. And... It's nothing wrong with that. So what's wrong with Black Titanic doing the same thing? Just because they have a degree in journalism does not uh, mean that Black Titanic, I'm quite sure with her, um, all of her source of knowledge or whatever, I'm quite sure that she has some type of accreditation somewhere. But uh, just because it doesn't happen to be in journalism doesn't mean that she, and she's on, she's doing her, reporting her news on YouTube, not on, um, not on TV, but it still, it doesn't make a difference. There's a whole lot of people that report stories on YouTube. I look at Miss Black Titanic as a freelance news blogger because she liked to get, um, up close and personal and she liked to, um, deliver her content on site. It's, I applaud her for that. But like I say, if Stormy hadn't never came outside, then the incident would have just, it would have just fell by the waistline. But because she came outside and threatened Miss Black Titanic, that's why she ended up with, um, with a police warrant. They don't just give out police warrants just for just for anything. Apparently, they found enough evidence to to uh, to go after or to charge Stormy. Now, I don't know what type of slick mess or whatever back end deal they made with the courts to have her charges dropped or whatever. But I hope Black Titanic lawyer is watching closely to Carlos and Stormy and and. I hope she's taking notes and because I can guarantee you that the only thing that Carlos is trying to do is help Maurice fight his $105 million lawsuit that he dragged on into. And because Carlos need to get back and owns good graces, I believe that's why he wants to try to um, put it out there or have Black Titanic try it in the media because th with him bringing it out on a larger platform and, to, and people that may just watch the show and not n be up to date on the things that go on on YouTube and the things that go on behind the scenes, they may not have known about the incident. And if, with them only getting Carlos' side, because he does have a lot of viewers 
uh, Dr. Elaine has a lot of viewers. So with him only telling half of what, uh, half of the incident that happened and omitting the most important truth, the most important facts, of course, you're going to have a lot of people saying that Black Titanic was wrong. Of course, you're going to have a lot of people um, trying to paint Black Titanic as a stalker. When you paint it as, oh, she just went there and Stormy had to go off on her. She didn't ring the doorbell. She didn't knock on the door. Stormy could have stayed inside and just, and just called the police if she felt that threatened. But for all the people that um, want, that's going to get in my comments or and that keeps saying that Black Titanic was wrong. She shouldn't have never been there. Well, I say to those people, sometimes things happen for a reason. And because Black Titanic went there and Stormy wound up filming herself, acting a, a plum fool, she exposed her dog on self by um, having that dog that was fresh out of surgery, dripping blood all over her warehouse to the point of the health department allegedly having to come and visit her and shut her practice down, allegedly. So some of these people that are or that were ordering products and stuff for her, I feel as though sometimes things what's done in the dark comes to the light and sometimes things have a way of coming out and maybe this was the way that it needed to happen because you think you think um stormy would have exposed herself having a dog in her warehouse any other time any other way it's um you think that she's going to put her uh, she's going to uh put her practice in jeopardy put her business in jeopardy and do uh and cause detriment to her uh, to her business by showing a leaking dog fresh out of surgery wandering around her warehouse and she is packing products to ship off to to people and for them and what a few years or five or 10 years go by and they wondering what's wrong with them allegedly. And then, uh, the source get traced back to, Oh, it would, it happened because I bought this, um, canvas beauty product. And I'm not saying that it will, but my thing is anything is possible and nobody, I mean, you, you wouldn't want to sit there and, and, get your product or you don't want somebody packing your product, mixing your product, handling your product with a leaky dog fresh out of surgery right there. So like I say, sometimes things have a way of working themselves to the surface. And maybe this is a way that uh, maybe this was intended to happen. Because it just happened to be on the day that Stormy had her dog up there, the leaky dog, fresh out of surgery. But Carlos not speaking about that. Now, I don't know what happened to her business, whatever, but something happened right after that. Because all of a sudden, her business, uh, her hair product business was you know, shipped off, in my opinion, to Tisha and it had to be put on hold for her. So I don't know if they um, reprimanded her and put her in um, some type of timeout or cooling down period or whatever. But all I know is it would, it would have never made it to the day of light had it not been for Black Titanic going to the site, going on location to get content. So to me, that does not say that that does not prove that she was a stalker or harasser or anything. It just simply tells me that she's just an up close and personal um, news blogger doing free freelance work for herself. No harm, no foul to, I mean, she wasn't trying to do any harm, any foul, or trying to cause any type of um, anguish to anybody. She was just simply trying to get a sale. And if they didn't sell on site, that's all that, that was needed. 
We don't sell products on site. You only can purchase on the website. But seeing as though that people don't get their, that weren't getting their products when they shop on site, uh, shop on, on online, I can understand why Black Titanic went on location to purchase products. Nobody said the products weren't good. They just said they, it doesn't matter how good they are if you're not getting them. And when people spend their money, they expect their product at the same time. It's not no whenever you feel like it or you just, or people going to dismiss it because you're on a TV show and you feel as though that you are above your people or you want to count the people as that 1% that doesn't make your bottom dollar. So I can, I can really understand why Black Titanic went on location to purchase products and maybe she was going to get content. So what she was filming. And that that was that could have been a win-win for both parties. It could have been a win for Stormy because she could have showed herself and uh, showed herself a, a better side of herself of what the people thought about her. And she could have, you know, came out there as the bitch. She said she knew how to code switch. She could have came out there as the business professional, hard at work, Stormy, instead of the ghetto. Um, uh, the, the, instead of the ghetto non-speaking, um, or, or, um, ghetto speaking person that we see her showing up on the show. But I guess when she says she cold switch, she only, um, I, I guess we'll never know. But anyway, like I say, Black Titanic is not a threat. And if she was a threat, Stormy should have just lock the door. She, she ran to the threat. So to me, and then want to play victim. You can't have it both ways. You can't threaten somebody and then play victim at the same time. And black Titanic lead it, leave her alone. Carlos, they need to play the whole footage and continue to run the whole footage. Every time stormy, um, or Carlos want to speak about the incident. I feel as though they need to run the incident, um, they need to run the tape of Stormy going off like a, like she's some type of ghetto, un, um, uncared for animal in the woods. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.